Ready? All right, so this is my favorite patient. We're gonna show you some upper motor neuron lesion symptoms that you look for in a neurological eval. So what we're looking at here is the patellar reflex and it's gonna be exaggerated, so it'll be hyperreflexia. So there, and you, you have a Ashworth scale that you can actually grade this. So that's a little more than you would expect. We can look at this one down here. And so that's a pretty pronounced plantar flexion there too. And then when I assess tone, like when I pull back here, I get some tone. I don't get much with knee extension, but with knee flexion, I get some tone. And then a little bit of fighting with dorsiflexion there. So that's the increased tone you would expect with the upper motor neuron lesion. And she had a lesion at about T6 from a motor vehicle accident. And then uh, you can also look at strength. And so you might expect some spastic paralysis and so we'll bring the leg up here on the right. This is her weaker leg. And so that's not quite full range. And now let's show the left. Yeah, and so that would be full range. So this one would have at least a three out of five MMT, manual muscle test, whereas this one is about a two or two plus. And so then I could look at this one, go ahead and bring it back up and see if she can hold resistance, which she can, but I can break it. So that's probably about a four out of five because she can hold some resistance there. And then some other things, you can do some special tests. With her, uh, the clonus test, where you go into dorsiflexion real fast, she doesn't get, there's a little bit of clonus there. But for the most part, there's some there. You kind of have to, not, not real obvious, but a little bit there. And then on her foot with Babinski, she's ticklish, but she gets the flare out of the toes, so that's a positive Babinski. And those are specific for upper motor neuron lesion. Uh, so I'll show you that one more time if you can handle the handle it one more time there. There it is. So the fanning, what you'd expect is the toes to curl up uh, or just nothing at all. But um, uh, I won't do it to you again. <laughs> all right. So um, as far as neurological exam, that's some of the stuff you look at uh, for upper motor neuron lesions, hyperreflexia, uh, some increased tone, and maybe some weakness too because those corticospinal tracts are affected. And that's it. Thank you. You're welcome.